It has been a year since I last played Minecraft PS3 edition on my channel, and recently this version turned 10 years old. It came out at the end of 2013, and I still remember before that when only the Xbox 360 had Minecraft. Even after a decade, I haven't forgotten playing Minecraft PS3 edition at my friend's house all the time, and in this video I'm going to revisit the game on the oldest update you can get. Firstly, we'll check out the tutorial world from 2013 and explore my survival world. Then later, I'll update the game and see if anyone is still playing the mini games online. I've really got no idea if the servers are still active, but even so, this video will be full of nostalgia for Minecraft Legacy Edition. I'm going to turn on the PlayStation now and also check out the menu it had. Okay, look at this. I have a lot of nostalgia for this. Even though I never owned this console growing up, I just remember seeing this all the time at my friends. It's so different from the PlayStation 4 and 5 menu now. You have all these different lists of settings instead of having all the pictures of your games that you can scroll along here. And there it is, we have Minecraft PlayStation 3 Edition. The only game I've got on here right now. This menu is completely different from the Xbox 360. I remember as a kid, this looked so confusing to me because I was just used to the Xbox menus and then seeing my friend go through this, I had no idea what was going on, but I do like the simplicity of it. Let's load up the game though, because that's what we're here for. Here we are, the menu. Oh, and you can hear the music, the classic Minecraft soundtrack. Let's press okay. I forgot if you have a peanut allergy, you cannot play this game. It's very sad, I know. Here's the old world selection screen. It's gonna load, come on. What is taking it so long? Okay, we've got my worlds here. Um, I only have four of them. I have one creative one, a survivey one, uh, two tutorial worlds. This is the old tutorial world from title update 14, I think, or title update 12. But this was the tutorial world you could get on PlayStation 3 edition when it first came out. So it's a very old one from 10 years ago. I really can't believe that. It's gonna be so nostalgic. I'm gonna load it up in creative so we can fly around and check it out. Fun fact I found out while researching this video was that PlayStation 3 edition actually has more achievements than Xbox 360 edition. I had no idea about that. So I guess that's one point for PlayStation 3 over Xbox in the console wars. Here we are though, guys, we're in this tutorial world. This was probably the one I played the most growing up. I know the one I played in my last video was a close second, but after the update was when me and my friends would always go on this world. We would add to this big citadel on top of the hill and spend hours blowing it up as well. Every tutorial world, we would just come over, fill it with TNT and cause a massive lag spike in the world. I have so much nostalgia for this area. I think this is like where all the beds are. Yeah, it is, I, I remember this. This really long diagonal house. So the story worlds are here for you to learn how to play the game. It teaches you about new updates as well. What was new in this version, I think, was over here, the anvil, as well as snow golems and iron golems over here. Oh, as well as villager trading. That's actually a big update. Villager trading has changed Minecraft quite a lot. I also remember going down here, um, it shows off some redstone. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Um, what's this one? This is tripwire hooks. They must be new in this update as well. There's a minecart track here. We just get in. Okay, this is gonna be so much fun. I already know how short it is. <laughs> there, that's that's all it does is go there. Pretty crazy, right? What am I? I don't know what skin this is. Actually, that's a good idea. We should check out the skin packs. Oh my gosh, the battle and the beasts. This was such a popular skin pack back in the day. Who else do we have? We have medieval knight we can be. So yeah, you can see I have to pay for most of these, but there are some free ones. All the free ones are so bad. I don't want to be them. Oh yeah, look, all of the mobs in a suit. Chicken in a suit was a popular one. Uh, I'll be this one because it's free. What else? Um, where is it? Here, I was a hyena. Yeah, I can kind of see it. It's quite hard for only a few squares to depict these animals, but you can tell what they are, pretty much. Snow golem. Oh, I don't like his arms. Why are they see through like that? Oh, Christmas creeper. This reminds me of Stampy Longnose's Christmas special. Aww. Look at Steve with his Christmas jumper on. He looks so happy. I bet his mum just knitted that for him. Or maybe Alex got it as a present. Who knows? What else have we got? We have skin pack one. This was the really classic one. You have wizard creeper to terrify our friends with. I ballistic squid. This has to be my favorite skin of all time because it sparked those crazy Minecraft terrorbrain trolling videos. I'm pretty sure all of those were fake, but they were still so funny as a kid. I also find it crazy Minecraft even put Herobrine in. It just came from like a fan conspiracy theory and 4J Studios added it to the game. That was really cool. Those are the only skin packs. So we have skin pack one, festive, and Battle of the Beasts. Now oh, here's the farm. It's kind of like the one in the old world. Jesus Christ, my PlayStation is making such a loud noise. I don't know if you can hear that. There's no way you can't hear that. I might have to check the recording quickly. What is it doing? I don't know if I can record like that. There is a few other buildings hidden in this world. Um, what is this? I did not remember this at all. Whoa, 
It's a chest inside. That has to be a music disc. I had no idea this building existed. What? Where are we now? Silk Touch Diamond Pickaxe. So it's an abandoned house with trees going through it. I love how a lot of builds in this world implicate lore behind them. Someone could have lived here alone their whole life and then they just passed away and the nature started to regrow and take over their house again. Oh my god, this feels like a fever dream. I remember this house clear as day, but I can't recall any specific times that I've had here exploring it. I just know I've been here so many times in my life. I love the simple style of old Minecraft buildings as well. Just blocky and wooden. It doesn't really have a big block palette, but this is beautiful even though it looks quite simple. This is how people used to build on Minecraft, including me, especially when I was younger and didn't put too much thought into each build. I would just go with what I could imagine. And of course there's another music disc. It is so good to see that world again. Now what I really want to do is go back to my old survival world, which I did in the last video. I haven't played it in a couple of months, but I've made a little bit of progress since my video a year ago. It definitely doesn't look like a year of progress, I've not played much. I haven't been on it loads this year, only a few times since. It's good to be back. The loading in this takes a lot longer than I remember. I think I need to train my attention span. If you've seen the last video, you might remember this. This is my very, very basic underground home that I made for mining in and storing my stuff before I finish my main house over here. And look, I I finished it, kind of. Not completely. I, yeah, well, I haven't decorated the inside, but the exterior is done. You'll be happy to see. Uh, let's try to get a good view of it. <laughs> it's such a weird shape, but that's what I like going for in Legacy Minecraft, using only a few blocks, but just the shape goes crazy. I don't know what I was doing with this roof over here. Just thought it'd be weird. Ah, oh, I haven't finished this part. No, don't look. Let's just keep going. We're not gonna talk about that side. But from here it looks finished. Oh, there's no windows, are there? <laughs> That's all right. It's a nice open plan, fresh air and all that. Let's add in the door. I'm gonna do it like that. Yeah, that looks good. House complete. Beautiful view from the front deck of my house. I remember how close we were to the border, look. My house is right here and then that's the end of the world. I believe it was in the snowy biome when I first started the world. There's a jungle down there at the bottom right. I wanna go back to the jungle and show off how laggy it gets there. That's the main problem with this version. It doesn't handle jungles well. But first, check out this path over here. I love the bridge. I do remember building this. That was fun. And you've got the old the old roses. I talk about these all the time. <laughs> They're just the best plant in the game. I really hate the decision to take it out. Who cares about being realistic? Roses grow on bushes. I feel like roses can grow on the floor as well. I don't know. Oh yeah, here are the sheep and the dyed lime because I was going to build a big statue of a creeper up there. I haven't got around to doing that, you can see. Most of them aren't died yet, I don't know why. Has this one escaped? Come back. Don't you dare leave this pen. This is meant to be your home forever. Come on. Oh! How did you miss the door? Come on! Get in. There we go. <laughs> Sheep are so annoying to work with. Here's a tip, if you didn't know already. You can do this. Put a piece of carpet down. Oh, and you can just jump over the fence and animals can't. So you can use that if you're a bit worried about opening the gate and having them spill out. Ah, oh, you've grown back already, thank you. <laughs> I saw a comment about this cross and how it was creepy in the last episode. I have no idea why I made it a cross as well. I wanted something to indicate where my hole was, but it's like those don't play Minecraft at 3am videos. It's a bit of an eerie gravestone looking build. I remember I went mining for ages and only got one diamond. Wait, I forgot what my goal was for this video. I'm gonna go on a mission to tame a cat. Also, look how blue this water is. I don't know, is that just my monitor? But it looks so bright. I'm slightly colorblind. It is nice to have oversaturation, even though it can be ugly. I think it's nice because like it just adds more color for me. <laughs> it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm going to get quite a few, maybe 10. What am I doing? <laughs> Keeps just randomly fishing. I'm not even paying attention. Yes. What will be nice is to go fishing on the bridge. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bounced off the fence. All right. Oh, hurry up, please. Okay, that one took forever. Oh, I thought that was it. Watch it take one fish to tame a cat after all of this. I seriously think it will. But if I didn't get 10 fish, it would probably take 100. That's my luck. There we go. Last one. Yes! Yes, 10. Okay. And it's turn night, so we can go to sleep. I get to christen the bed. First time using it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that is a great first thing to see in the morning. Let's go collect our eggs. Thank you so much. It stood in the position it just laid it. Oh, get destroyed, creeper. Time for an adventure. We're going to go find the jungle and tame a cat, I guess. Oh, I don't have bones. Oh, 
<laughs> I would really like a dog. I've set my mind on a cat. It's okay. I'm drowning. My controller disconnected. I'm sitting at the weirdest angle right now as well because my controller dies instantly if I unplug it. The cable I'm using is really bad. It's about 20 centimeters. So I have to be really close to the console. My arm is off to the side as close as I can get. This world is so nostalgic to me. Even the feeling of the PS3 controller as well. I remember we'd be at my friend's house eating potato smileys while on PS3 and we'd just have the best time ever. We'd always make a new world and search for a massive open cave that you could get at for the surface, and that would be turned into our base. Eventually, it would become a big underground town, and we'd even create lore around it and make up stories about people who lived there and have shops and stuff like that. It was really fun. Those were some of the best times ever playing Minecraft. I'm so glad I can still play this version and remember those times. I'm very grateful that I had them. Also, yeah, can you see this? Now we're in the jungle. There's like certain parts that are really laggy, like here. Let's find that direction, and then, oh my god. I think you can even tell that in the recording, right? That is just so bad. Over here, we found the jungle. Now we need to look for a cat. I'm not searching for something that isn't in the game, I hope. Hold on. I remember this so vividly from last video. That was a whole year ago. Maybe it wasn't even in the video. I think it was. It's the end of the world. They've cut off a mountain, and this is what used to happen all the time. We go in third person, you can see behind. This is a fun challenge, but it's very stupid. Can I make it to the end without dying? I might regret this really badly. No, we're going to take damage, but we're not going to die, surely. Only one damage. We did. <laughs> I'm going to hold my fish out. Hopefully that tempts them a bit better. Please spawn in. <gasps> I see it. It's on the most tiny island with a spruce tree as well. The wrong tree for the biome. Oh, there's two. Wait. Uh, this one. Oh, I'm going to go for this one. I feel bad choosing. But we might have enough fish for both. Also, I know all cats are created equal, but I'm hoping for a ginger one. Because I love ginger cats. They remind me of Garfield. Oh, no. I scared it. There he is. Don't move. Don't move. When he, he's ready. I don't. No, I didn't get him. What? I thought the love hearts meant he was tamed. I guess that just means he's breedable. He's coming. Being really, really slow. <gasps> we caught Ginger Cat! No way! I've been blessed with the greatest luck today. Oh, I'm so shocked. I don't even know what to name you. Um, I'm going to name her Emerald with, the, with those green eyes and Emeralds being in Minecraft as well, I guess. That's my justification for it. Please come. Come to me. I can have a whole island of cats. Are you ready? Oh, he's ready. Am I- <gasps> Yes! Oh, we got another. Okay, secretly I was hoping for the black and white one, but don't don't tell him that. I really like the name Fidget. You can meet Fidget the cat. And yeah, we've got Emerald the cat over here. Come meet your best friend. They, they look like they're going to drown. All right, I'll just leave because they'll teleport to me. It's getting late as well. Mission accomplished. We, we did it. Two fish left gives me an idea. Where's- Where's Fidget? Dude, did you kill off your, your friend? Have they got in a fight? Where Where is he? Um, hello? Did Fidget die? Did he actually drown? Hello? It's dead. <laughs> what? Why? What, what happened? Did I accidentally sit it down in the water and it just died? Well, rest in peace. Fidget, that's the end of that. Um, this is slightly sad. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> anyway, apart from that sad ending, it was really fun revisiting the world, and now I want to update the game to the newest update, and we can play online and check out mini games. Because mini games were a massive part of Minecraft Legacy Edition. Who knows whether they're still gonna be active though, I'm a bit worried about that. It's gonna be sad when no one's playing, and if people are playing, then that's brilliant. Now I need to connect this console to Wi Fi, I'm not really sure how. I'll figure it out. Oh no, I must sign up for Sony Entertainment Network. I'm gonna go do that, I guess. Didn't really want to. Now we can join a battle minigame, tumble minigame, or a glide. We'll try all of these and see if it's active, if there's any players online. We'll just join public games. PlayStation 3 online is free, so there should be more people playing this than Xbox 360. Oh my god. Well, look how many people are in this one. Oh, sick. That is so cool. Five other people in this game. That's a lot more than I expected. I thought there would just be one other person playing if I did find anyone. The fact that these people are still playing probably means they're insanely good at the game. I don't know. I doubt this is going to go well. Although I did play a lot of Battle on PS4 when I was growing up. Ah, 
Well, all that excitement for nothing. That used to be a thing though, I remember on PS4 edition, every time the host was killed, they would just leave the game. And also a lot of the time they would wait until the game started to ruin it for everyone else. But I don't know if that's what happened or if they just left or lost connection. I remember this map so well. It was one of the free ones. There was a nether one as well, which is my least favorite. And then there's the underground overgrown one. That's my second favorite, but this is definitely my number one. Look at the skull, you can go inside there and there's even a chest up here. Oh, someone left, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six people in this round. That's a lot. I know there's a quick, yeah. Oh, I got a diamond chest plate already. I think I'm gonna hunt someone down. Yes, this Steve, I feel bad. Steve's, Steve's so innocent. Look, oh, it's Herobrine. Okay, it's a bit laggy. I think I got, yes! We killed Herobrine, first kill. Oh, oh, TNT. All right. Oh! There is no way. Oh, I just gave that guy a bunch of armor. This guy should have looted better. Oh no. I think they splashed themselves, but ah, I've lost. This guy is so good. No. Oh, God. oh come on. Get out of there. Jesus, Jesus. No. Where is he? I got away. I've actually gotten away. That was so close. He's definitely gonna kill me in the end though. There's no way I can beat that guy. I would like splash potions. That would help a lot. Yes, poison. I have the most kills, so I will win. Oh, they're all teaming. What am I gonna do? <gasps> ah! He saw me. How? Come on. No! <laughs> this dude. Oh, you have multiple lives. What? Oh, <laughs> revenge. I'm doing more damage. Yep. It's so laggy. I've got better armor. I can kill this guy. Yes. Woo! Come on. Whoa, there's so many trying to get me. Whoa, I'm getting all of the kills. How many have I got now? Nine kills. Let's go for ten. Ah, that hurt. This axe is doing me well. I... Again, oh, I think I made the host leave. Yes, we got tumble. I haven't played this in so long. This was always the least popular one I used to play, so I didn't go on it that much. I did not realize there was an opening cutscene. Oh, me and this guy. Let's... Have they got snowballs? No, no snowballs in this version. I'm gonna kill my, ah. It's Athlete Steve, come on. He's going, ah! <laughs> no, that's embarrassing, I killed myself. Oh, Athlete Steve's down, 1v1. <gasps> Ah, did she she just sacrificed her life for him. And he did the same. Let's try the glide minigame now. This one's really fun. I remember loving this. And you can play this one on your own as well. Oh, we found someone. Is it just one person versus me? Oh, there's three of us. Woo! I ah, oh, I wasn't even put in the game. Bruh. I thought I was with them. We're just spectating Scottish Steve. They died quite fast. This is awesome though, the fact that people are still playing this online. Like, not only is it a discontinued version of Minecraft, it's on the older generation of console. You could play this on PS4. I don't know if there'll be even more players on PS4 or not. That's interesting. I'll have to check that out in one video. I do want to do a video on PS4 edition in the future. I have so many worlds on there that I could show off. It'd be amazing to go look back at those. But that is going to be it for this video playing PS3 edition. We've looked at so much today. It's been really fun. And this ending was a happy surprise seeing that people do still play this version online. I hope this video brought back loads of memories for you guys who used to play this version growing up. Legacy edition is just so nostalgic. I always love going back and playing it. The feeling I get from it is unlike any other version of Minecraft or any other game really. I just can't explain it. I feel like it's amazing even though everyone had different memories playing the game there's a whole community out there who still love this version and get that same warm nostalgic feeling from it we all played with different people and made different friends through this version that's incredible that we can do that in this day and age and i love the fact that people are still playing it and there's many more friendships still being made out there i guess i hope that's a good message to end the video on thank you so much for watching please do leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and check out some of my other videos on this version of minecraft anyway i'll see you next time
goodbye.